I'm Theo Jensen, and as, as a family, as the Jensen family, we farm in the Weka Valley, farming on about 136 hectares, 80, 82 hectare milking platform and milking 200 cows. Um, we've entered all our cows inside. Um, things can get pretty rough around here. Um, the main focus for us is on, on this farm to, to look after our stock as well as we can. So we're, we're feeding grain in the shed and, and the focus is on, on making as much milk per cow and looking after them well, as I said. The main supplements we use in, in the wintering barns is, is just grass silage, um, as that keeps things simple. When you start seeing your topsoil disappear down the, down the drain, you, you know something isn't working. But then we found that we, we really like to have our milkers inside as well on, on the days that they needed to be in the nights. And that doesn't work in a hurt home. Um, so then we started looking around at, at what we could do and came across the composting system. Yeah, we decided to go for a very wide uh, structure, 24 metres wide, which is, is nice. Um, there's no issues at all with driving tractors through here. Trucks can come in and tip the load of sawdust off without hitting, hitting the roof. Cows travel a lot less walking up and down and especially if you want to feed on both sides, the wider the better, I, I reckon. Now we can keep all our cows inside all winter, but we also have the option of keeping our milkers inside, which we do um, generally from the 1st of May. They stay inside for eight or 10 hours a day, uh, mainly also to capture the, the nutrients that they would otherwise lose. Yeah, and that's been, been working well. Composting floor, will give us in the end some very good fertilizer that's gonna gonna really help us on the farm as well and it's an, an ideal place for a cow to lay in we started off with, with bedding just good base layer of wood chip and then um, mainly sawdust on top with a bit of wood chip through that um, seems to work very well for us part of the process of, of getting it to compost is trying to get as much air in as we can to to get the oxygen to the bacteria so the process works uh, we're ripping once a day, generally. Uh, one of the things is if you rip it very deep, uh, the, the material gets really loose. The cows actually find it a bit hard to walk in. We've been trying to rip a bit less deep uh, to make it slightly easier on the cows. On good frosty mornings or cold days, we, uh, we definitely see a lot of steam coming out, which clearly indicates that, that all your moisture is disappearing. Temperatures go up from between 40 and 50 degrees. Uh, once things are working well. The cows in here in the winter, they're very happy. They're, they're very content. They turn into quiet cows as well. Um, it's easy to make sure they get enough to eat. It really, really does work. The cows in the composting barn stay clean, way cleaner than in the herd home. One of the advantages of, of venturing inside is you, you've got full control. The other advantage is that every winter you know what your cows are gonna be like at the end of the winter because they're not affected by the climate in the, in the same way, or not at all really. In here, the cows struggle to eat 10 kilos of dry matter. If you were to try and have them in the same condition on an outside system, you'd have to feed them 14 to 16 kilos a day to get there. We're looking at, uh, at a bit of a subtlety coming through tonight, which uh, can get a bit rough. Uh, they're forecasting snow down to 200 meters, so tonight, um, We'll split this barn up, um, so the springers will be in, in a small part of it, and then we have room to put all our milkers inside as well, um, which is going to save a paddock, and it's going to save me a lot of sleep because I can actually sleep quietly. We're very happy with the decision to, to build a smart shelter. It's working really well for our business. 